We all know that vehicles are getting more complex. We see it in the advanced driver assistance systems, we see it in the engines, and we see it in the hoses. That's right, I said hoses. As vehicle engines become increasingly complex, so do their cooling systems and their hoses. In the good old days, a coolant hose had a simple function, to carry coolant between the engine and the radiator. Today's hoses still do that, of course, but they also branch off to various components and they're typically outfitted with connectors and sensors. A modern coolant hose is more than just a hose. It's a modular hose assembly, and it has multiple parts and multiple functions. Modular hoses come in many forms, but they all contain at least one connector, T, or branching component. They also might include other features such as a heater control valve, a bleeder valve, flow restrictor, or a port with a sensor. With new components and functions, you have the potential for new failure points and new replacement opportunities. Like their predecessors, today's modular coolant hoses are subjected to prolonged exposure to petroleum-based fluids as well as the hot and cold cycles in an engine. Over time, this can cause the rubber to soften and expand, which can lead to small pinhole leaks in the rubber walls and eventual hose failure. But there's some failure points that are specific to modular hose assemblies as well. For example, the T-shaped or Y-shaped connectors, as well as the quick connectors in modular hoses, are made from plastic materials. As these components are exposed to the extreme temperatures of the cooling system and the vibration of the engine, over time the plastic begins to harden and becomes brittle, and the connectors are going to flex and eventually break or crack, causing the whole assembly to fail. The quick connectors attached to the end of modular coolant hoses for easy assembly can cause problems too. When modular hoses are removed for cooling system maintenance or some other repair, the quick connectors tend to get damaged or fail. One reason for that is the O-ring. When a plastic quick connector is removed from the spout, the O-ring can lose its seat, meaning it will no longer conform to the sealing surface when the assembly is put back together. The O-ring also can get lost or damaged during removal and installation of a new hose. Another potential failure point are the sensors. Disconnecting the sensor from the hose assembly can damage the sensor. The sensor also can be damaged by water leaks. Here's the bottom line. Modern coolant hoses have multiple components, multiple functions, and multiple failure points. Removing a modular hose for repair or service, whether it's cooling system maintenance or just to access other parts in the engine, can cause damage to these components, which can cause the hose to leak when it's reinstalled. So it's recommended that every time a modular hose is removed or one of its components is replaced, your customer should replace the entire hose assembly to ensure that the system works properly. I'm Josh Cable. Thanks for watching.